What is up, YouTube? It is the Bill Outdoors here. Today is May 6th. Why did I say May? It's June. June 6th of 2022. I am here at one of my local creeks or somewhat local creeks. And we're going to be kind of fishing for whatever gets thrown at us today. I was out fishing this morning, bright and early. Woke up at 5 o'clock, got to the spot around 6.45 and didn't have much luck or not as much luck as i thought i would have i was gonna explore a new creek in lancaster county and i didn't really find too much that was productive over there i guess i picked the wrong spot or something i did end up catching one wild brown trout at a spot that I hopped to after I tried out my first spot, which you'll probably see that clip um, in the beginning of this video here. But today we're just gonna be going after some smallmouth bass, hopefully. Maybe some sunfish will show up. I'm sure they will. I'm already seeing some bass and some sunfish already, so that's a good sign. But we're just gonna be catching whatever we can catch today. Just hoping to been a beautiful weather afternoon out on the creek we got a nice breeze going on here it's topping out at like 82 83 degrees today so beautiful weather especially with the breeze so we're just gonna enjoy a nice peaceful afternoon on the creek hopefully catch some fish and hopefully you guys enjoy the video i will be testing out a new gopro in this video you can might be able to tell that the video quality might be a bit higher this is the gopro hero 10 black that i am using and that is going to be my new gopro moving forward oh, just had a little small mouth come and attack the tube here um yeah this will be my new gopro moving forward i purchased it just about a week or so ago got it all up to date and i will be using this from here on out so look forward to many more videos coming out. There should be some good ones, hopefully. All right, guys, it all happened so quickly, but I just caught my first fish out of this creek here, and it's a little wild brown trout on the trout magnet. Just a little guy. We're just going to go ahead and give him some water while we go ahead and take a picture of them but not a bad little fish there all right guys there's our first fishing creek wild brown trout there we're just going to go ahead and release this guy get back in the water he's good to go School of fish right here, guys. I got one. There he is. Got him. Beautiful red breast sunfish. Oh boy. Water's a little warm, so it's a little tough to target these guys, but we got them. Especially middle of the day, you got to be finesse. That's why we're using the trout magnet. Alright, time to release this guy. Let me go ahead and pop the hook out of the side of his jaw. Whoa! Not such a great soul release there, but he did not want to cooperate. I was just going to drop him back in, but no. There's another good size one. That wasn't the one that bit it. But that's another red breast sunfish. Once you find a biting school, they're pretty easy to catch, but some of these fish can be finicky in the middle of the day like this. Oh, and back he goes. Just casting right behind this pool, behind this um, down tree. And they're over here. 
I know there's some smallmouth in there too, so I'm trying to get their attention. There's another sunfish. That one a bit bigger than the last. There he is, pretty fish. Back he goes. Guys, nice small yawn. Nice small yawn. Let's see if we can get him in the net. We did not like that. I sight casted this fish, and he is not happy that I hooked him. Gotta play this one careful. This is light line. It's not a super huge smallmouth, but it's a nice one. I need the net for him. Got him. Beautiful smallmouth. Whoo! That's a good two pounder there. Or maybe a one and a half pounder. But solid fish all around. Let's take a shot of this beauty and let's let him go. Alright, guys, last look at our smallmouth there. Very beautiful creek smallmouth. Pretty solid for this creek. There are bigger ones out there, but I will take that any day of the week. Let's go ahead and let him go in the water here. Off he goes, he swam right back at my feet. You can see him coming off through the water there. Beautiful fish. I saw him cruising that deep channel. I casted right in front of him. And first cast, he walked over towards it, or swam over towards it. And I thought I may have hooked him, but I wasn't sure and then i saw him shake his mouth i just get a quick flick to the right and we were able to get him so very solid small mouth for our first one of the day let's see if we can get any more out of here gotta be careful i don't spook when i see him see him back over there he's probably got some brothers and sisters hiding out in here somewhere that was on the watermelon seed colored trout magnet It's interesting because the smaller ones, smallmouth, I'm, I mean, weren't very interested, but that one kind of came out and grabbed it. I guess it looked like a nice, easy meal. He didn't have to waste too much energy of it, out of himself in the middle of the day like today. And came out and just nipped at it and quickly found out it was not food. There you guys, got another species coming up here. Spe species number three for the day. Nice little rock bass. Solid little fish. We're just going to go ahead and quickly unhook him. He choked that thing. There he goes. Back in the water. We got species number four right here. That was a green sunfish. I don't know how well you guys got to see that before he let himself go. There's still some nice smallies in here. They might bite better on the way back when the sun's getting a little, a little lower. So I might have to hit them then. But there are some nice ones in here. All right, guys, before I move spots or move holes down, I'm gonna try something. I tied on, well, I didn't tie on, I used the same jig head, but a little trout slayer by Leland Lores. It's basically just a crayfish imitation made by the people that make the trout magnet. And the reason I'm doing this is because on my way back, walking up the creek more, I stepped on a rock and spooked out a crayfish. And it got absolutely nailed by some of the smallmouth in here. And we're trying to match the hatch here. So let me pull out this. This is a dead crayfish right here. 
this gnarly thing and we're trying to imitate that and that's what we got tied on here slightly smaller but as long as it imitates their food better we should get a bite or two from these smallmouth. so i'm going to cast this out here and see what these fish think first cast already got picked up by a smallmouth. So that's good. We weren't getting picked up by anything other than that one first fish or first smallmouth. Here we go, guys. Got another smallmouth on here. Let's put up a little fight for being slightly smaller than the last one. Pudgy little guy, he's got a fat belly on him. Not a bad one. Oh boy. Slimy little guy. Gonna go ahead and take a shot and release this guy. Guys, I don't know if you can see that, but look at that giant water bug that is on my foot. That is huge. Guys, we got another fish coming up here. It is another sunfish. Another little red breast sunfish. Pretty little guy. Coming into our last stretch of holes here, so we'll be wrapping up the fishing soon. But let's see if we can get a few more of these guys and maybe some other fish on the board. I haven't seen any smallmouth that have compared to that big one I caught. Big for this creek at least. Smally bite isn't on too much. Hopefully it'll start to pick up in these last couple holes now that the sun's kind of not over the creek anymore. It's around 4.15, 4.30 right now, so we should be getting... Oh, that was a little smallmouth there. Tiny guy though. All right, guys. I believe we are gonna wrap things up for today. It was a little bit of a productive evening out here on the creek. I didn't catch a whole lot of numbers. We ended up with um, I think four or five red breast sunfish, one green sunfish, a rock bass and two smallmouth bass. The one smallmouth bass, however, was probably my biggest one out of this creek, or at least this section of the creek. So pretty happy about that. I'm glad we were able to get that one on the board and on camera for you guys. Kind of made up for this morning's fishing session. I was out in Lancaster County. You guys didn't get to see a whole lot of that. I'll include one clip of the wild brown trout I caught, which will be at the towards the beginning of the video. So there was that. And then we caught a decent smallmouth out of here. So can't complain too much. We're gonna have to get out here again sometime. Probably early morning would be better. This water is really warm right now. So the overnight temps will cool this down a little bit. And the morning it'll be a little bit better fishing supposed to rain later this week so I'm not sure how many more times I'll be able to get out but in the meantime thank you guys for tuning into this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you guys on the next episode of the Villa Outdoors